up, Puck friends? I'm Miss Carrie, and welcome to Cooking with Carrie. Do you want to know how I roll? In the easiest way possible, of course. Today we're making cinnamon rolls that you'll be able to pull together in just a few minutes. Now, usually when you make cinnamon rolls, you have to work with yeast, but we're using a shortcut by using frozen puff pastry from the store. I promise you'll love how quick this breakfast treat comes together. So, are you guys ready to get started? Let's roll. So first, our ingredients are one package of frozen puff pastry thought according to package directions, which gives you two sheets. I have here for the filling a three quarter cup of brown sugar, four teaspoons of cinnamon, and two eggs lightly beaten. For our frosting later, you're going to need one cup of powdered sugar, four to eight teaspoons of milk, and we're just going to use a handful of flour for our cutting board. You'll also need a pastry brush, a cutting board, knife, a spoon, and a whisk. Now these measurements are for a double batch of cinnamon rolls using both sheets of puff pastry, so about 16 rolls. If you want to have that and save the other sheet of puff pastry, go right ahead. Now, go preheat your oven to 400 degrees with your grown-up. Okay, first let's mix together our filling by combining our brown sugar and cinnamon. We'll set that aside. Let's lightly flour our cutting board so our pastry doesn't stick. We're going to unroll our pastry. We're going to take our egg and our pastry brush and lightly brush a layer of egg on top of our pastry so our filling sticks. Now the fun part, the filling. Just cover the whole pastry with about half of your filling. looks good. Now we're going to roll from the long side and roll as tightly as you can so that they give you that nice upward pop of a cinnamon roll. Now you pinch your seal. Now we take our knife with our grown-up's help and we're going to cut this into eight equal pieces. My puff pastry measures nine inches across, so if I measure, my pieces are all equal at about one and eighth inches, but try and make sure they're all equal length. Once you've got your pieces cut, we'll transfer them to our baking sheets. I put parchment paper down on mine, which I highly recommend so that your rolls don't stick. Okay, these look great. Let's put them in our 400 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. These just came out of the oven and look how good these look. While these cool, let's whip up our frosting because we cannot frost these while they're too hot, otherwise it'll just melt. All we're going to do here is combine our powdered sugar and milk. Start with some of the milk, a few teaspoons, and if it's too thick for you, add some more. And then we whisk. Looks good. Let's grab our cinnamon rolls and get frosting. And that's it. Don't these look deliciously gooey? I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe, and if you did, be sure to drop a comment or a like below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!